For researchers studying Ebola at the U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases, the suits they wear, and just as important, the protocols they follow when taking them off, are a matter of life and death. Officials at USAMRID recently allowed a reporter with the Frederick News Post to don the type of suit worn while working with Ebola in a clinical setting, which differs from the rubber spacesuit-like ones used in the controlled environment of the Biosafety Level 4 labs found at Fort Detrick. It is this type of equipment that USAMRID officials recently trained members of the 101st Air Assault Division to use before they were sent to West Africa to help control the outbreak there. Dr. Randall Shope, chief of the Applied Diagnostics Branch at USAMRID, has spent time in Liberia working in labs testing Ebola patients' blood samples during the current outbreak. As he explains the tedious nature of working in the heat of West Africa, Shope emphasizes the importance placed on gloves. It's particularly difficult um, at, at LIBOR because we, we tend to use duct tape. So that stuff gets stuck in the tape. Because we don't want to, we want to, we want to make sure that we don't leave any open areas. Multiple layers of gloves and strips of adhesive tape that are used to create a seal to workers' Tyvek suit are critical components that ensure that no skin is exposed while working with a deadly virus. The donning of personal protective equipment, or PPEs, is always done in a buddy system, with each person verifying that their teammate is safely equipped. While not as well sealed as the suits used in research labs, the PPEs used in hospitals and clinics do share one major similarity with those found in the USAMRID labs. They use positive air pressure in the mask and suits to help ensure that pathogens don't find their way inside. The air pressure is provided by a battery-powered air filter worn on a belt that pumps clean air into the mask and Tyvek suit. And at each stage of removing those myriad layers of protection, a bleach solution is always on hand in a spray bottle, used to disinfect equipment and abate any vulnerabilities that arise when removing the PPEs. It's a slow, deliberate process, one that can come after eight or more hours of sweating inside the suit while handling dozens of samples of deadly virus. This is Graham Cullen for the Frederick News Post.